Hey, welcome back to Baird Squid. On this channel, we do math tutorials as well as simplifying education technologies, particularly using the iPad. Today, I'm going to show you why using Microsoft Word on the iPad is better than using the desktop counterpart. And the reason behind that is because of the input methods. Now, because this is a math channel, I'm going to show you the particular uses of input formulae with Microsoft Word. So let's open up the application. You can see here there are a lot of similarities between the desktop version and the iPad version. If we have a look at the Microsoft apps, there are seven subscription-based apps and there are five utility apps. And today we're gonna to be talking about Microsoft Word. From here, you can choose a variety of different templates. We're gonna stick with the blank template here. We're gonna open up a blank template. And to demonstrate the benefits and the power of using Microsoft Word on the iPad, I'm gonna create a formula sheet. Now we could just go ahead and type this out using the on-screen or a Bluetooth keyboard. However, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we can use dictation, okay? So check this out. If you click on the arrow, because I've got a Bluetooth keyboard attached, then I can click on the microphone. Hey, today we're gonna to create a formula sheet. So dictation works really well on the iPad. Now what you can do with this is we can change the different formattings. So we'll go over here and make it um, a title. So that, that looks nice here. Well, actually that's too big. Double tap and highlight it again and I'm gonna change it to maybe heading one. Okay, yeah, that, that's more reasonable. So for our formula sheet, I wanna create two columns. Now, in order to do that, we need to go to the layout tab. So go ahead to the layout tab and then click on columns. But before we do that, what I wanna do is I wanna go to the breaks and then start a new section on the same page. So there, that's my break, and now I can do two columns. So my first formula is gonna be the area of a trapezium. So let's write this out then. We do area of a trapezium equals and now we can insert a formula so we're going to go to insert we're going to go to the equation editor here so we're going to insert a formula and we're going to type a half a plus b and then the height okay and let's press enter so that's the formula for the trapezium what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw an illustration that goes along with that formula so here we go we're going to go to insert we're going to go to uh, shapes we're going to go down to finding a here's a trapezium so i'm going to add that trapezium uh, we can edit this, let's do that. And also I just wanna change, I wanna change the formatting, the color and maybe the line of the trapezium. So we can do all of that stuff here. We can say, we change the input to maybe yellow and change the line. Can we change the line from here? Yeah, change the line to red. So I like how that shape has turned out. What I need to do now is I need to annotate. This is where the iPad is stellar because we can input just using the drawing tool. So if we come to draw, um, and I'm gonna do it in this pen here. This is what I'm gonna do to annotate. I'm gonna draw a line, an arrow. I'm gonna say that's my A, and then another line. So you see I'm annotating uh, on the shape. So here we go, we're gonna do the same thing at the bottom. Arrow, and we'll do B. And also we need to do the height. So let's just throw the height in here as well. So look, I've annotated uh, on the shape and I've got all of the illustrations that I need for that particular formula. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the second column that I made on this document and start a different formula, okay? So to, in order to do that, we're gonna go to layout, um, we're gonna go to break and we're gonna say, start the text in the next column. Now for this formula, I'm gonna do the volume of a sphere. Now check this out, this is where the magic starts, okay? Uh, I'm gonna go to insert and I'm gonna go to add-ins. And here we can go to some of these add-ins. I'm gonna go to math script. Where did I get math script from? Well, go to your add-ins and press on all add-ins. You'll see a list of generated add-ins that you can uh, download and attach as extras for Microsoft Word. What I'm gonna do here, since I've already got it, I'm gonna close that. And we're gonna type in our formula right here. So the formula for the volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. And you see that generates the formula right there and then we can press on insert. And if I close that add in, you can see that the formula is right there. It's generating the formula for us. Now to finish off this formula sheet, I need to draw the illustration for a sphere. I'm not gonna go and find it here, although it might actually be here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw it myself. Not that my drawings are any good, but I'm gonna give it a go. So let's come down here to the pencil tool. I think that thickness is fine, and I wanna go stick with black, and let's draw this out. Now another thing here is we have pressure sensitivity and we have tilt sensitivity. So if I really tilt the Apple Pencil, you can see 
compared to a straight line. So using the, the tilt pressure sensitivity, we can do a lot of shading for geometric shapes and other three dimensional shapes. So anyway, let's uh, go back and let's complete the sphere. I think I wanna add uh, an illustration here and call that the radius. Now there is palm rejection as well. So if I lean on the iPad, I can also draw this out, okay? And it doesn't make a difference. And you can see here that if I do it harder, then I get a thicker line as compared to if I do it just straight, yeah? You get a thicker line there. Okay, anyway, so let's just get rid of that. And for the eraser tool, I can erase strokes, which is brilliant. So I can erase all of that in one go. So now I'm gonna add the quadratic formula. So let's just write this out, the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula equals, and then I'm gonna go to insert. I'm gonna go to my add-ons. And here I'm gonna use math type. You can find math type when you go and click on see all add-ons and you'll just scroll down here. You'll find math type, where is it? Here, math type here, yeah? So I've got math type. So what I'm gonna do is go to add-ons, go to math type and I'm gonna to go to open a math type. Now from here, it might actually be on the keyboard, okay? So here you can't scribble, you can't do anything. You need to click on this icon so we can now import our handwriting into the text editor. So let's import the quadratic formula. We're gonna do x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, wait for it to recognize the formula. Here we go, and now we can just press on insert. And there we go, we have the quadratic formula as simple as that. We don't need to type anything, you don't need to use an on-screen or a Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, just using the Apple Pencil and typing away on math type, we can input that formula. The next thing that I wanna show you is, can we open up two um, Word documents side by side? Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go to the home screen. I'm gonna to go to my drive, I go to one of my folders here, and I have a document there. Now this document, I wanna open it, open in, and I'm, I can select the application from here. So I'm gonna open it to Word, and here you can see it opens up side by side. Now what's brilliant about this, if, if I scroll down, there's a question here that requires us to use the quadratic formula, and over here I've got my quadratic formula, and I could go ahead and use that as a, as a reference document and now complete this question. So maybe if this was shared with students, they could now draw on the document using the pen tool. So you can work on two documents at the same time. You can copy and paste. Uh, you can use one as a reference text and then you know work on the other document. A lot of the feature set from the desktop version is coherent with the iPad version. So I'm not gonna go over how to do some formatting, basic formattings or including a table in your work. For the most part, using the Apple Pencil to import formulae and to draw your illustrations is fantastic. And for that reason, that's why I use the iPad. I'll be reviewing other parts of the Microsoft Office suite. So make sure you subscribe for those videos. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.